Hey everybody, Wes Boss here. I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I'm just uh, looking for a piece for my car. There's this little trim plate that it goes in the, the, the door sill and I lost it and I need a new one. So uh, what you do is you need to find the part number. Uh, and I've done this a couple times now where you need to find a specific part and it's a nightmare trying to find out like, like what is it called? I need to just know the number. And all these like diagrams are tiny. So what I find myself doing is like right click, open in a new tab and then looking at the image I'm going, oh, that's that's the piece I need. So I thought um, we did this uh, syntax episode on the undocumented web where it's just kind of solving your problems because you're a developer. Um, and I thought that maybe we could make this these images bigger um, somehow and uh, and then be able to view it all in one quick go. So I think it's worth our time. And I thought it'd be fun to, to record uh, something, how, how all this works. So my first, um, the reason why I thought we could do this is because you write, if you open this up in a new window, you see the larger image and then you see the smaller image here. So I thought like, is it possible to somehow like just pull this image and display it in here in the larger version? So let's, let's dig into that first. Um, I'm going to first give us an inspect to see, is this just the large image? No, it's only, see, it's only 90 um, by 36 pixels. But um, what I think that this has forward slash thumbnails forward slash, this has a like a part number dot JPEG. Um, and then I'm wondering if I go to the bigger version, do they also have that part number in the path? They do. You see it's forward slash images, parts, BMW, full size. And this one is forward slash thumbnails. Good. So like uh, ideally we'd just be able to loop over this real quick and swap out the images. So let's first get these images showing larger, even if they are pixelated, and then we'll figure out how to loop over them. So I'm going to just put one per line. Let's find out what oh, this looks like. This is ASP, I think. Um, so these min width, I'll take all that off. Basically, I want this thing to be as fluid as possible. Uh, we don't want to put out a fixed height on it. We'll take that off and maybe we, oh, here's a width right here. Width of 125 PX or 52. We'll make that hundred percent good. Um, then let's find the ooh, default assy image. That's wow. Assy images. Let's see how, how, is there a width on that somewhere? Max width 40%. I'll take that off. I don't think that's actually it though. Cursor max height. I'll take off all of these widths and heights. I'll take the float off. Oh, getting somewhere. Now somewhere there is a height. Min height. No, maybe the image itself has a max height on it. Yep. There we go. Max height 90 PX beauty. Okay. So now we have all the images just showing up. Um, now I want to write a little bit of JavaScript that will loop over these images and swap out the thumbnails with that. So uh, let's go into here. And wait, what was that ASCII images class? Okay, ASCII images. And then there's an image inside of there. There's no class on this, but we can select the image by grabbing its parent and then the image inside of it. So I'm going to use I think dollar dollar is usually document dot dot query selector all, and then we'll use default assy image with the image inside of it. Yeah, that gives me all the images. Um, you can short form that with just dollar dollar. That's just something that's in the console uh, instead of having to type that. Good. Now I want to loop over each of them. So. Um, dot for there is a dot for each on it. You cannot map over this because this is a um, a node list and not an array. But if you did want to change this node list to an array, you can quickly array dot spread it or or um, wrap it in array dot from and that will do it. So I think we could map the image and for each one return the image dot source. Again, good. Let's open this up. Yeah, see, these are all of our thumbnail images. I don't actually want to map over it, though. I want to, for each image, we want to take the image. And we'll set the image.source to equal to the image.source.replace. What was it? Thumbnail? 
thumbnails. And we want to replace that with, what was it called here? Full size. How is it going to work? Oh, ho, ho. high quality. Beautiful. Now let's look for our part. Da, da, da. No, no, no. There it is. That's it. Right click, open a new tab. And the part I need is $430. All right. That seems like a lot for a little piece of plastic. <laughs> All right. Well, I gonna find it on eBay or something like that, but at least I have the part number now. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you like this.